Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial of Delineum Marketing. This is Hena and today I have brought a tutorial for you. Uh, I'm going to design a simple rock pattern based professional logo design. So what I'm going to do, it would be a minimalistic sort of design. So let's see how it could be, uh, you know, comes out. So let's start now. First of all, I will create a new document, seven by inches, seven inches into seven inches in height and width. So uh, specifications will be portrait, um, 0.125 would be the bleed. You can avoid the bleed at this time, but uh, I'm all my uh, document are already intact, so I will go with these settings now. So what I'm going to do next, I will use a simple background layer here, and uh, I will turn the color to light gray. And now I am going to lock these layers so it otherwise uh, uh, press control 2 so it will not be displaced when I will be working on my web. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I will just take this ellipse tool from here and define a simple ellipse here and here you can define a uh, simple pen tool and convert anchor point tool. You can also press shift C to define this tool intact this tool now press these two edges and convert into a pointed you just need to click on it and it will be turned out into a pointy edges now the next thing is that before moving on to the next step you make sure that your smart guard uh, smart guides are on so make sure that it, it should be a checked okay so what I'm going to do next uh, I will uh, select uh, each and everything from here Okay, now press A uh, as a direct selection tool and display, click on it here and display this just like this. Make sure everything is aligned and in a straight line because you can see that the green line is just absolutely straight when I'm doing this thing. So now move the same, uh, uh, you know, in, uh, in opposite direction in the same way. So it should be look like this. Now the next step is to make a little elevation to this part, to this anchor point and move it a little bit up and in the same way, move it a little bit down. Okay, so it should be look like this structure. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I will go into the object and convert uh, path and um, I will define the offset path here in preview mode I can see that it looks okay to me so I will go with this setting 0.1389 inches as the offset now so I will press ok so, and now select each and everything and subtract this uh, you know you can use it from the pathfinder if, you, if your pathfinder is not intact then you can go into the window and from here you can uh, intact your pathfinder okay so now what I'm going to do, I will define the layer color to this layer just like this and I will remove the stroke color from here. Okay, so it should look like this after making these changes. Now make a little rotation to this design like this. Scale it down a little bit. Press shift and now just make sure it should do now it looks okay to me okay so the next step is to press ctrl c and ctrl f to place in same place and just move it here so it should be look like this now you can press ctrl y to see how the things are going so it looks okay to me so now just press unified option from here in the pathfinder and it should be look like this now press it in between and click on the rectangular tool and define a simple invisible layer of a rectangle. So what I'm going to do next, I will place in between just like this. Okay, so now remove the color of the background color of this layer and make sure your layer is at the back of your pattern so it should be look like this now what i'm going to do i will go into my brush uh, panel and you can press f5 if your brush panel is not intact otherwise you can go into the window and you can find your brushes from here okay so now i will select each and everything and move it to my brush section so 
here I will go to I'm, I'm choosing pattern brush because I'm going to design a pattern uh, of rope structured pattern so what I will do I will just use this rope structure okay and scale is fixed and I can decrease the size of uh, this rope and you can also method turns and shares and press ok so now I'm going to delete this layer from here and draw a circle like this and here I am going to define this rope just like this now what I'm going to do I will uh, reduce in size just like this and press ok apply to strokes and uh, now what I'm going to do, I will select each and every T and press um, Control 2 just to avoid any uh, displacements. So click here and press Control 2. So now it's been fixed now. Okay, so the next step is to define. Um, you can also make different patterns from this, just like this, just like this, whatever you want to do. You can just define your patterns as per your requirement. But right now, as I'm working on a logo design, minimalistic logo design, so I will only place my text here, the wavy string. So press ok and now you can just increase the size and here you can change the font from here I'm using this black sword and now I'm going to increase the size and convert into the outlines and now ungroup it so it and align it according to your design requirements Make sure everything is working nicely. Just make an adjustment as you like it. So it would be like this. Now you can also change the color to this design, a simple this stroke and it will be look like this. So these are the simple and minimalistic sort of design that you can uh, define if you want then you can also create some patterns to this like this. Simply. But it's if if, if it's if it seems uh, over to you, then uh, you can also eliminate it. So I'm going to eliminate all these because I only want a simple minimalistic design. So I will remove these layers from here. Okay. So this is the simple structure or design that I have created for you. So. Let me know if you have any question in this design or you can also, uh, I have already uh, post a link of these ropes. If you want to download it, then you can, uh, or you can easily take it from my description link. Okay, thank you so much for watching and subscribe to my channel. Have a very good day. Bye-bye.